to Bola White Shirts Kitchen. Today we are filming a very highly requested video. We are going to be sharing the Licata Tavola family vegan bean sauce recipe with you. We have been making these vegan bean sauce recipes for years now. These recipes came about when our family had to become plant-based for health reasons and everyone around us, including ourselves, only ate meat. My mum, being the mum of 10, needed three different beans recipes depending on the day. Some days were super organized, some were normal, and others were super busy. Hence, our beans in three ways. Superhero moment beans for organized days. I got this beans for normal days. And survival mode beans for super busy days. In this video, we're gonna be more precise with our measurements. We are not gonna say anything like a pinch of salt, salt to taste, because honestly, no one really likes that. Like how much is a pinch of salt? Is it like this? Or is it like this? If you like my mom's videos, make sure to subscribe and like. My mom is right now in the process of making videos on how to use these bean sauces in different ways. Some soak their beans for eight hours and then cook them for one hour. We like to slowly simmer ours on a low temperature for four to five hours. So the beans break up helping create a bean sauce. We'll start with survival mode beans. For if you only have salt and beans, and if you only have time for salt and beans. For example, if you desperately want yummy beans for your movie night, or if you want a healthy dinner that night for your family but you have a super busy day, or if you live alone or in a dorm room and you can't afford any more ingredients. This recipe is for you. You are good to go with Dinah's survival mode beans recipe. Survival mode beans basically means you want it, you ain't got it, but you still want it, or you want it today. With Dinah's survival mode beans recipe, you are good to go. Here are the ingredients you will need. Pour 500 grams of beans into a saucepan. Add three flat teaspoons of salt. Then pour enough water to go one centimeter above the beans. Then put your stove on high. When it starts to boil, turn your temperature down to low. Over the hours, keep checking on the beans until they are soft enough to eat. But during this time, you must add enough water to keep it one centimeter above the beans. So these are boiling now. I am going to turn it down to a low setting and add some more water. We are cooking three different beans recipes today. So we are going to be using this stove at the back. These beans have been boiling for an hour 45 minutes and they are ready now. Take one third of the beans without the liquid and blend them with a bar mix into a sauce. You can also use a Vitamix or any mixer. Now that it's well blended, put it back into the sauce. Now your survival mode beans are nearly ready, just mix it in. If you don't have a blender, you can use a fork and a plate and crush them on there and then put them back into the pot. Now for our second recipe, Dinah's I Got This Beans. Here are the ingredients you will need. This recipe is for you if you want something a little bit more fancier than survival mode beans. And you have all the basic ingredients. This recipe isn't too hard, too easy. It's kind of like a feeling of, I got this. It's a bit of a fancy, no-brainer beans recipe. Start the beans the same way as in the survival mode beans recipe. The beans have been boiling for an hour 45. Now we just have to add the onion, tomato, pepper and sugar. Half a teaspoon or 2.5 grams of pepper. And a tablespoon of sugar. Yes, sugar. Okay, now we're going to cut our onion and tomato into rainbow shapes. You'll see what I mean by rainbow shapes next. See, rainbows. Now that they are all cut into rainbows, let's put them into the beet sauce. We're going to wait for the onions to just soften a bit and then it will be ready. Let the beans cool down after they've been boiling for three hours after adding the last ingredients. Then cover it and place it in the fridge for overnight. Get it out of the fridge, get a whisk and whisk it like crazy. Now for our third recipe, Dinah's Superhero Moment Bean Sauce. Here are the ingredients you will need. 
Our superhero moment bean sauce is the recipe for you if you can do better than survival mode and you feel like you've more than got this. This time we're not going to start the same as in recipes 1 and 2. Start by cutting your onions, tomatoes, mushrooms and garlic and placing them in the pot. We're putting them in first before the beans to create the beginning of the sauce. When they have broken down we will then place in the beans and some water. Slice and dice them well as they will break down quickly and create a sauce. Sometimes when I'm feeling like it. Yeah. Put in all your onions and four tablespoons of olive oil. Fry them until they soften and get a golden colour. Now that the onions are golden, let's add the mushrooms, the garlic, and the tomatoes. Keep the hot plate on medium, keep mixing and the water will release from the tomatoes. No water was added, this liquid has totally come from the tomatoes. The big pieces of garlic will break down as it boils. Add the beans and enough water to go one centimetre past them. We're going to leave this to boil for two hours. Mix it well. After two hours, this is going to start to look more like a sauce and then we can add spices. Now for the spices, two bay leaves, one tablespoon of 15 grams of oregano, one teaspoon or five grams of smoked paprika, one teaspoon or five grams of curry. This is optional, one tablespoon or 15 grams of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon or 15 grams of sugar, and one more teaspoon of salt. Five grams. Five grams. <laughs> Half a teaspoon or 2.5 grams of black pepper powder. One tablespoon or 15 grams of flaxseed. This will also make the sauce more thicker and it's very good for you. Let's mix in all these healthy spices. The sugar is optional, but it makes it taste good. After goldening your onions for 20 minutes, after reducing the tomatoes and the other ingredients for 40 minutes, and after adding beans and water and cooking it for 3 hours, after adding all the spices and cooking it for one more hour, after 5 hours of cooking, let it cool down, cover it and put it in the fridge. Take it out of the fridge, get a whisk and stir like crazy. At this stage, you can either whisk it to bits, use a bar mix or a blender, depending on how big you want the bits in the sauce. It may seem like a difficult recipe to make when you're a busy person, but if you set a timer, for example, on your mobile phone, set timer for 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes and counting. When the alarm goes off, press repeat and do this for five hours until the recipe is complete. That way you can still get all the jobs you need to get done and play with your children. <laughs> or go and exercise, or whatever you would normally do. Remember, every stove is different, so keep an eye on your beans. Even though we are using kidney beans, different kidney beans can react in different ways. Here are the finished products. Here on the left, we have the survival mode beans. In the middle, we have I got this beans. And on the right, we have the superhero moment beans. Notice the difference in color. Survival mode beans are dark because they only have beans. I got this bean sauce is a little bit lighter because it is one third vegetables. The superhero moment bean sauce is the lightest because it is half vegetables. Remember to simmer your food to not burn the goodness out of it. You can make a large amount of bean sauce on the weekend and use different amounts for different meals during the week to save time. Here are some of the ways that you can use these bean sauce recipes. Sauce for your spaghetti on your pizza base. Instead of tomato paste, you can use bean sauce as a dip. We use it on our movie nights. We often have it with rice. Why not use it as bean sauce on new beans? This is what we use on our nachos and tacos. Try adding chili and create a nice nacho sauce. You can also create a nice vegan lasagna, but that's in the next video.
I hope you enjoyed our video. If you try this recipe, tag us on Instagram and we will share it in our stories.